Hey guys, it's Justine and behind me is the brand new Rivian R1S. And this is the SUV version of the Rivian. You guys may have seen some of the trucks, but this thing is so awesome. And did you hear that? It sounds like a little chirp. My sister and I got a chance to test this out and we were actually in Yosemite right now, driving this around, testing it. My sister has definitely been doing more of the driving than I have, but this has been so much fun. So let's hop in and let's chat about it. So great. hopping in we have two options with us right now we actually have the little key fob which is like a little carabiner and this is amazing because you can just hook this onto your belt your backpack whatever and there's also the key card you can use your phone and Rivian also has a few other options too they even have like a wristband that allows you to unlock this but we basically have been using the phone pretty much for the entire trip but since we have the key fob let's unlock and chat about this incredible SUV oh, it's so amazing the heated seats are on too! So now that we're inside, this thing is so spacious and that was one of the things I was most excited about because on our impromptu trip here, we went with our parents. I'm just gonna be honest, I pack a lot. No matter what I'm going for or where, the amount of gear, the amount of clothes, the amount of things that I pack, it's excessive. And add in three other people, we were able to fit so much in this, it was absolutely shocking. About to load up the Rivian, let's go. has a frunk, of course, since there's no engine in the front like most vehicles, you're able to store so much in there. And it even has an emergency lock, which we did test. If you happen to find yourself inside of the frunk, there is a little release where you can press a button and you'll be able to get out, which is an incredible safety feature. I don't recommend doing that. And Rivian also doesn't recommend doing that. But the fact that that feature is there, I think is very, very important. Something else about the frunk that's really cool is you can actually use it as a cooler. There's a little plug that you can unplug to be able to let out water if you did put ice in there. So this really is one of those vehicles that you can kind of make whatever you need it to be. Like if you need your frunk to be a cooler, you can do that. This does have seven seats in it. And for our configuration that we have right now on the road trip, we put the last two seats back and those folded down and we were able to store all of our luggage and everything in the back. It also has a little secret compartment, which you can store more stuff in, which is so amazing. Like when I say that you can fit a lot of stuff in here, I am not exaggerating. Now also inside of that little secret compartment is a first aid kit and there's an air compressor which is actually really helpful because if you are off-roading or if you're going on a beach or sandy conditions or if there's dirt and you need to let some air out of your tires to kind of make your way through whatever it is that you're trying to get through and then once you're out you need to add the air and you're in the middle of nowhere how do you do that well Rivian's got you covered, a built-in air compressor. I also really like this because I can fill up my bike tires when I'm at home. Well, you, there's a bike rack accessory. My sister from the back seat has said, that, actually, I added that on to my pre-order, was the bike rack accessory. There's even like a surfboard accessory. There's so many other accessories that you can get for the rack up top and even a tent. They have just so many accessories. And I think that's one of the cool things is because we need to also remember that this is still very early for Rivian. Somebody had sent a tweet that I think they were were trying to offend me by saying, Rivian just got started. There's so many other EVs that have been around for a long time. And after driving this, <laughs> If this is Rivian just getting started, oh my goodness. Having this be a pre-production model, I was definitely expecting there to be errors or the maybe some laggy software or things not working. And we have honestly had no issues whatsoever. And I was really surprised by that, just knowing how many times I've tested a lot of pre-release software or pre-release products. Everything has worked so seamless and I'm so incredibly impressed. So like I said, if this is the beginning, I cannot wait to see the future of Rivian. My sister actually pre-ordered one a really long time ago. And at the time I didn't really need to do a car upgrade. And I am so jealous because the second that I opened up this door when Rivian brought this over for us, I immediately regretted not pre-ordering 
years ago. So the color of this is really beautiful. They do have a bunch of other options that you can configure on the website. So not only can you configure the interior, the exterior, but you can also configure various wheel types. And this color is the L Cap Granite, which is quite fitting because we are here in Yosemite and we even got some video footage of the L Cap Granite in front of El Capitan. This is the launch edition package, and this has all of the same contents as the adventure package. So you can choose between the two, but with the adventure package, it changes the interior badging, you have free wheel upgrades, and you have access to the limited launch green exterior color. This also has the large battery pack, which will estimate about 360 miles of range with the quad motor. Depending upon which wheels you do decide, it does say on the website, some of them will give you less range, some will give you more. So depending upon what the look is that you're going for or what you plan on doing with the car, that will depend how much range you'll get. These are the 22 inch sport wheels, bright. They partnered with Pirelli to develop these specifically for their vehicles and their unique capabilities. So the current package that I'm sitting in right now runs about 95,000. This is the Adventure, quad motor, large pack, L cap granite, 22 inch bright wheels with the black mountain interior and it has the tow hooks. You can go zero to 60 in three seconds. And did we test that? Yep, you better believe it. I'm straightened it out. Yep, hold on, straighten out again. One. One, two. You hit 60. Yeah, that felt like it was in zero to three seconds, but we were also on an incline. It's so. also cooled out, so the battery's not prepped. This has a towing capacity of 7,700 pounds. It has various drive modes. There's all purpose, sport, conserve, towing, off-road, and crawl. Something that is really cool to kind of witness, which I'll show you guys here in a second, is the way that you can adjust the suspension. Okay, so right now we're in the high setting and I'm gonna take it down to the low, and this is taking us down to 10.1 inches. There's also a highest and lowest setting as well. Look at this, we're going down. This has completely changed my shot. This is great. Okay, I'm gonna go back up. Dude, this thing is so great. I love it. It is definitely getting dark. Speaking of getting dark, there's actually a flashlight right here in, <laughs> in the side. <laughs> like this is so great, like, what a great idea. There's also another fun little addition right here under the center console. And this just charges inside of the car, which is so awesome because you never know when you might need to have some music out in the wilderness. If you want it, you've got it. Now, since this is an SUV, one of the other things that I love is the back hatch. Now, what is unique about this is the fact that I've seen this in other vehicles too, but I love that they have this included is there's a top and a bottom hatch. So if you have a bunch of stuff in there and you don't want it to go rolling around, you're able to kind of just open up the top and that little bottom half stays put. So all of your stuff doesn't go rolling out. And something that has really made it easy to put luggage and gear in and out of this is you're able to adjust this little ramp right here. So if it's down, you can see this little ridge right here, but if you lift it up, it's a nice flat and smooth. So you can put in your gear or Rivian recommends going out and stargazing and you can be super cozy with some blankets. The panoramic glass roof is so awesome. And even on our way up here, it was really hot. It was like 115 degrees on the drive up and it is UV coated to protect you from getting a sunburn. And even though it was that hot, I was actually quite surprised because I thought that it would have more of an effect on the drive up and it really wasn't that bad at all. I do like that there are air conditioned seats in the front and also heated seats in the front and the back. And that does vary between if you get the adventure pack or the Explorer pack. It was nice because the model that we have does have air conditioned seats in the front. And it also, since like right now it's actually quite cold, it does have heated seats. So I've had that on and just having like a nice little spa day. So the entire trip here was really fun and I was concerned because obviously I think this is a lot of concerns that a lot of people have when getting an electric vehicle. What is the charging like? It does take a little bit of extra planning because you do have to map out your route. But what is great is in the dashboard, we're able to put in our start and put in our end location and it gives you suggestions of where you should charge depending upon how many chargers are along the way. And what we did is we actually mapped ours a little bit differently than what it suggested depending upon what we wanted to do. So we found some cool restaurants, was able to charge for like an hour and a half for lunch. All right, time to feast and then hit the road. I am watching the charging and then we continued on our way and then we had to do a bathroom break. So we found a Walmart and there we were able to charge for like another 30 minutes while we shopped, got some things for the trip. So I've been eating popsicles, napping. I'm having a great time over yeah, here. Yeah, how's your experience as a passenger? Oh, you're doing a great job. Keep it up, Jenna. Okay. Dad, how's your experience? Great. Mom? Great. 
Great. Everybody having a good time? Yeah. Woo! Right here. Woo! Yep. And here at the lodge, there is actually a fast charger. So we've been driving around all day and coming back and being able to charge overnight. In the park though, they do have Rivian branded chargers. So that's pretty great to know that that option is there if we need it. We tested it out and we charged a little bit. But since the car was pretty much charged already, we didn't really need to spend much time there. And it's great though, because everything is connected to the app. We could be out and about roaming, having lunch or doing whatever it is that we need to do and can always check on it on the app. Well, that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little overview and how awesome it's been to test this out. I've been a huge fan of Rivian. I've loved the R1T and it's been really cool to check out the R1S, especially here in like Adventure Town. Everyone has been stopping me and my sister and wanting to see it, wanting to talk about it. We've made so many friends. So if any of you met us along the way, hi, I'm Justine and that's Jenna in the car. And I'm pretty sure uh, Jenna and I sold a few pre-orders here. So Rivian. You know, we just, we did, we did our best. <laughs> a huge thank you to Rivian though for letting us borrow this because this was such a fun trip and I have been dying to go on a road trip and this was the perfect opportunity and it was so much fun to get to hang out with my sister and my parents. There's Jenna! <laughs> I mean, the fact that our parents even came along, like they extended their trip to make this trip happen. And since they were in the back seat for most of the time, they were quite comfy back there. And it's great to just see something like this still have so much leg room and space if you're in the back seat. Cause I know as a back seat passenger, sometimes it can get a little cramped back there and they had a ton of room. And even in the third row, when those seats are up, there's still a lot of room back there. There's, there's a, a lot, lot of room. room back here. There's a lot of Look room. At this. If anybody questions if there's not enough room in the back seat, like there's a ton of room back here. So this thing has absolutely exceeded my expectations and I am so excited for my sister to get one. I definitely was playing around with pre-orders, so I may or may not have pre-ordered one as well. Mm, the white just looks so, so fresh and all the accessories, oh my God, I'm just, I'm freaking out. Okay, I'm gonna go because the sun is going down and the moon is gonna come up and long ago, somebody probably left with the cup. If you know, you know. He's going the day.